Hey guys, it's Brian from 2Fab here. Today we are with Olivia Hack, played Cindy in the Brady Bunch movie. Indeed. Can you believe that it has been 20 years? I feel so old. <laughs> I feel so old. Um, no, I can't believe it's been 20 years. It's, it's great. I, I love that it still has, it resonates with people and oh, I feel really lucky. It's awesome. But has it felt that long for you? I mean, you're obviously a grown up now. It's, it's a trip to watch it back because yeah. I am little, you know, and so it's kind of that weird home movie thing, especially because we had, we did two movies, you know, and yeah. so we spent a lot of time together and we had a really good time. And so, you know, I, I obviously don't sit back and watch them all the time, but yeah. when they're on TV or whatever, you know, and you sit and 30 seconds here, there, and yeah, you remember, you know, a certain day that you shot this or that. And so it's nice to kind of have that, it's a time capsule, it's forever, so it's awesome. And the movie was just on Netflix. I think it just came off at yes. the beginning of this month, but a lot of people were talking about it again. And the, do you see the, the sure jam? Oh yeah, <laughs> and the stool, and the, oh yeah. Which I love, so awesome. When that stuff just starts popping up on your Twitter right? feed again. Out of nowhere, too. Yeah. It's like it's been 20 years and you guys are just kind of latching onto this? Okay. I mean, it's cool, right? But yeah, it's always a shock. So do you get people now that have just seen the movie for the first time kind of tweeting out to you? or? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, there are people that are diehard fans. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. just just hardcore, and they know every line, and and that's awesome. We had a we did a Brady Bunch convention, um, me and the whole cast last uh, this past summer, okay. and uh, we hadn't seen each other in a really long time, and people came out. People <laughs> came from all over the world. Now was every, was the whole cast there? Or? Uh, everybody was there except Christine because she was on vacation, and uh, Jesse, who played Bobby, wasn't there because he was shooting Chicago. Chicago yeah, people. yeah. Have you seen him now? <laughs> He's so hot. I see you're so hot. Um, we tried to get him to it's come amazing, in, but he was right? filming in Chicago. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. And he did uh, he did soaps before that, no. and just, yeah, I mean, he was just like this little freckle-faced kid. <laughs> it blows my mind. <laughs> now, take it back 20 okay. years. When you show okay. up on set, you have to do the list, yeah. wear these outfits, yeah. wear the wig. Yes. What was that like, seeing the whole transformation? We were really lucky because we had about a month of rehearsal, which okay. you don't usually get to do. <laughs> and so we were really into it, and Paramount set us tapes, and we really practiced and rehearsed. And the first time we all got to see the set, and that was when it was really real because we watched all these episodes, yeah. you know, and everything was perfect, and it was just... I actually just got chills, uh, just as it was. And there were actually some costumes from the show. What was it like filming this this scene? Uh, okay. <laughs> the big final number. I'm not very coordinated. Okay, so it, was, it wasn't easy for you? So when you, if you re-watch that scene, there is some editing going on. Like I'm always just like a little bit out of frame, like there's half of me, you know, kind of thing. And that and costume is it. it is in my mom's closet along with the wig. When's the last time you pulled it out to take a look oh, at it's it? It's been a while. Been I should actually see yeah, if it's not all like moth eaten. <laughs> and now these days you do a lot of voice work. A lot of voice work, yeah. How different is that and how did you get into that? I started um, kind of when I was young. I mean, I fell into it, you know, yeah. basically as you do. Um, and my first voiceover series was a series called Hey Arnold, which is also, that show is getting crazy popular all over again. Like, and again, Netflix just gives things yeah. like such a life. I've done Clone Wars and Avatar, The Last Airbender, I'm gonna do um, Care Bears, which is gonna be on Netflix in the fall. The voice stuff is really, it's, it's different, mm -hmm. um, but in a great way, in a really nice way, and the pressure's off too, yeah. a little bit, so yeah. there's always that. So would you guys do another Hey Arnold? Uh, that's, that's been in the, in talks. It's yeah. been in talks, so we'll see. I mean, I, I know that Craig Bartlett, who created it, uh, really wants to do it, and mm. I know Nickelodeon really wants to do it. Um, so and there's yeah. so many outlets now. And there's it. a lot of outlets for it. So yeah, I, fingers crossed, but I think sometime in the future that's, that's likely, so we'll see. Uh, movie adaptations of okay. TV shows, still very popular. Yes. We see 21, 21 and 22 Jump Street were yes. both huge, huge films. Yeah. Are there any shows that you watch growing up that you would love to see? Ooh, that's a good question. Someone do a film update um, on now. I, I'm trying to think what I watched as a kid, right? Like small wonder. Oh, that, small that wonder. <laughs> yes. Okay. So what was what was the one where she t puts her fingers together? Is it out of this world. Yes. Different. Yeah. yeah. Out of, I think it was out yeah, of this yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My husband had a crush on that girl. <laughs> and he was like,
anywhere. Well, thank you so much awesome. for coming thank down here Thank you so today. much. Thank you. I love this movie. I oh, watched it again thank you. That makes me so happy. Yay. It's so much fun to meet you. Thanks. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. <laughs>